What's up guys, Dan Legs here back again with another video. And in this video we're gonna be replacing my boy Paul's spark plugs on his car and possibly cleaning the throttle body. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how to clean, how to do spark plugs since I haven't showed you guys yet. I did it on my IS300 but I haven't actually showed you guys so I'm gonna show you guys now in this video as an example on my boy Paul's car. <laughs> All right, so in this video, we're gonna be putting um, NGK spark plugs, iridium, laser iridium ones. Um, it's a good thing that we're putting these in for his car because it'll help with uh, better acceleration, uh, better fuel economy for the car as well. And um, this need to be replaced. I'm pretty sure they haven't been replaced since the car was made, which was back in 2012, 2012. Acura TL, 2017 now, so five years later, finally being replaced for the first time, I'm assuming. What do you think? It's good. <laughs> uh, Alright, since this is a V6, uh, three spark on this side, we'll put it at these three right here, and the three on the other side. Here Same area, right it's a little hard to see, but they're right back there to follow this line down. And it'll look just like this. This is the fuel rail. So, yeah, look for these, but just on the opposite side. I'm bolted all the bolts here on these three and we're just pulling them out all right so what Paul's doing right now is taking off the little wires that connect to the spark plug we already got two off right now but we're taking off the third one on this side as you can see once you take them off they come out just like this and then the spark plug is inside the hole there. You need a socket to go in there, unscrew the spark plug, take it out, and then put a new one in. It's pretty simple. Pretty simple thing to do. It's not that hard. But yeah, we're gonna get get all these undone and then start unscrewing all the spark plugs. Alright, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this. This is a spark plug socket. It has a little rubber piece inside of it and that's to help hold the spark plug when you're taking it out. So we're gonna have an extension, we're gonna put it in there, we're gonna loosen it, and we're just gonna take it out and it should just, it should just pop right out. One first. spark plug the old one and we're going to replace it with a new one all right so this is the difference between an old spark plug and a newer spark plug you can already see the difference one is like black and dirty and the one is nice and silver this one even has some blow by on it right here that means that compression was getting past the spark plug this new spark plug that should uh, fix the problem this one's probably all worn out now so it's killing paul's gas so we're hoping that this one makes it better and boosts the acceleration so yeah, Paul's doing the last two. We just got the second one out. There we go. Just broke the first one. Wow. That looks horrible. Side by side. <laughs> what are you thinking? That's gross, bro. <laughs> That's real gross. Alright, so now we're going to put the new spark plugs in. And uh, that basically will be it for this whole side. We're gonna have to do the other side. It's gonna be a little more tricky because we have like all this going on. Plus they're way back here. So we're gonna, we're gonna figure out how to get back there. But yeah, we're gonna just screw the reason now. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> all right. So we just finished putting in the three spark plugs where they need to go. And we're gonna put the coil packs back on and tighten everything back up on this side. Then we're gonna go move on to the next side. So we're gonna get that done right now. All right, so what we've done here is we're removing this strut bar right here to give us more room to get back there. So we can just take it off and have more space to work back there with the other spark plugs. We're gonna remove these two bolts on this side. He's doing that side. We gotta remove those two bolts there because it's attached right here along this whole line. So once all four of those on both sides are off, then we remove this whole strut bar. 
and then we would have more room to get this part closer back there. All right, strut bars off right there. Now we have a lot more room to work with when getting to the spark plugs over here. So right now we're gonna do the same process that we did over here and we're just gonna finish, just gonna finish up the job on this side. All right guys, so we just finished taking out all the spark plugs and replacing them with new ones. And this is the result of the old ones. As you can see, they're all nasty and grimy, probably have never been replaced before. And they even have a little bit of blow by on each one of them. So it's a good thing that we did replace them. That's probably why his gas has been not so great and his acceleration, his acceleration will probably increase so that's basically like the end result of this now we're going to try and work on the throttle body today also to try and clean it this i personally i've never cleaned the throttle body but it'll be like learning experiences for me and paul so we're going to try it out today all right so we ended up getting this all taken apart forgot to film my bad but basically we just took off the the top of the air box so we can get this out the way this little rubber rubber hose part took the air box off and got it to go here this is the throttle body right here and uh, since this is an electric throttle body there's no cable up here usually there's a cable at least on my car I have a cable throttle body so you just press the cable when it opens up but this is electronically controlled so whenever Paul presses on the gas it opens up just like that and we can just air we're able to clean it from inside just like that so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the throttle body cleaner and some napkins spray on the napkins and just kind of clean the inside inside the throttle body okay so i have my throttle body cleaner spray out here on this napkin just wipe it down on the inside that's basically it So after cleaning the inside of the throttle body, this is the result. As you can see, it was pretty dirty, pretty nasty inside, but I was able to clean it pretty well. So just something good to do. Something that, you know, regular maintenance. It's, yeah, it's pretty clean now. So that's basically it for cleaning the throttle body. Probably gonna clean the mass airflow sensor boy Paul looking up how to do it for his uh, accurate TL. So gonna, after he figured this out, we're gonna show you guys. All right guys, so now we have the mass air sensor taken off the car. Pretty simple, it's on the air box. So you just take off the lid of the air box and just kind of from everything. This is it right here. So once the air box is off, this is the mass full air sensor from the outside. But if you look inside, you can see that's the sensor. That sensor is all the air coming in. So basically what you want to do is get a mass airflow sensor cleaner and then you're going to spray it. Just don't touch anything, just spray it as it is. And this side too. And then you just let it dry. We keep, I keep it here in the sun so it dries a little quicker, but this stuff already dries pretty quick on its own. So yeah, that, it's a pretty simple process to do, not that hard. Yeah. Alright, so right now we're basically just putting everything back together. We, we put the air box and the mass airflow sensor back together. Everything's all where it needs to be. Now we're just putting the strut bar back on and once that's done, we'll basically be finished with everything. Changing the spark plugs, changing the, um, I'm not changing, changing the spark plugs, cleaning the mass airflow sensor, and cleaning the throttle body. And then once this strut bar is basically tightened back down, we'll be done. So yeah guys, that's basically a general idea of how to replace spark plugs, clean throttle body, and the mass airflow sensor. I'll link down below any of the mass airflow sensor, the throttle body cleaner, any of that stuff. I'll link it down below so you can buy it for yourself if you want to use what we use to clean. But yeah, that's basically the end of this video. Give a like, give this video a thumbs up if it helped, and subscribe to see more. Also follow my Instagram to see any updates. See you guys later in the next, in the next video. Peace.